So I want to talk about some offensive linemen, and uh, I figure no better person to talk about than Tristan Wirfs. Uh, you know, he's a rookie that Tampa Bay drafted in the first round, and he's already looking great. Uh, he had a big day against the Chargers, really holding his own against one of the best in the game uh, in Joey Boza. And so I want to talk about it and what he did well. But before I get too far into this, just want to let you guys know that I have a Patreon uh, now. Uh, I do an, a weekly film study, and I do a weekly uh, power ranking show on my Patreon. It's only a dollar a month, so eight pieces of content a month for only a dollar. Uh, you can click on that. The link is in the description. Uh, or if you just want to watch the free stuff, that's obviously okay too. But yeah, back to the video. Let's just get into it, and we'll start things off right here, where, you know, he's the left tackle, 78. That's Werfs. Uh, and he's going up one-on-one -on -one against Boza right here. And what Boza is going to try and do is that watch right when this play starts. Uh, really, he's, he's trying to get his left arm, and he's trying to knock Werfs' right arm out of the way. That's Boza's uh, plan right here. It makes sense. This is not a not an uncommon move by any means. You know, you knock him, uh, knock his arms a little bit over. You can try to get by and get to Brady. That's the goal on this play. However, what I like about uh, this from Worfs and what I really like about him out of college, what I continue to like about him in the NFL is going to be his lateral movement. And watch how even after Boza is going to do a pretty decent job in terms of the handwork. Watch how Wirfs is able to come back with his feet and still stay in position. Even when Boza tried a little spin move there afterwards, he was able to sort of hold on. So really just a, a, a good play. And I think that kind of shows what he can do is that, you know, he's obviously a big guy, but his footwork uh, is probably even more impressive than his strength. And his strength is very impressive. But just to be clear, his hands are also very good. Yes, he got beat uh, in, you know, a little bit with his hands right there. Not badly, but a little bit. I would say that was advantage Boza. That's just because Joey Boza is elite. Uh, but he can definitely, uh, you know, win the hand battle as well. Uh, like on this one, again, he's the right tackle. Uh, again, it's against Boza. And what you notice is that right when his play starts, it's going to be kind of a, a stab and grab move, essentially, where what what Joey Boza is trying to do is he gets his right arm and just sort of just grabs it onto Werfs' left side of his body. And then what Boza wants to do is he wants to get his left arm and kind of just just grab the the right arm of Werfs, you know, the outside arm. That outside arm, when you make a move to a you know right tackles right, can be so crucial because you want to try and get to the outside. Uh, and if you can get rid of that outside arm, it can make it a lot easier to do so, and it's a lot more difficult for him to slow you down. Uh, so oftentimes this is where the battle is won on a stab and grab move. It's it's this you know second right here. It's who gets the better hand placement, uh, and you're gonna see Werfs. Watch how he just sort of latches on to Boza's you know uh, shoulder pad essentially, uh, you know, and is able to just hang on. And Boza isn't able to do anything after that because Werfs won the hand battle. Uh, and again, sometimes that's all it takes in football. Sometimes it's as simple as who has the better reflexes to be able to get the hand placement you want. This time, it was advantage to the rookie. I also think this play will show off his strength. This is a little bit different. We're, you know, taking a break in the, the pass protection uh, game for a second just to show a run blocking play because uh, this is just fantastic. Where The way this works is that uh, Werfs is going to be part of a double team, but he's sort of the second part where, you know, uh, Tampa Bay, they have their guard uh, sort of just push the uh, interior defensive lineman into a position where Werfs can, should be able to have good hand placement and could, you know, move him. And then basically the guard moves up to block a linebacker. And then Werfs kind of just, you know, uh, he has the second part of this play where he just then tries to move the defensive lineman out of the way. But what I like about this is watch Werfs and watch how far he's going to move him. Look at that. I mean, that's just, he just opened up a hole right there. You don't often see the, uh, a run blocking team get significantly better just from adding a tackle, especially a rookie tackle. But the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, their run blocking has been better uh, this season. And the only real change has been Tristan Wirfs. So uh, I, I think it's worth mentioning. The guy's playing really good football right now, and he means a lot to this Tampa Bay offense. This one's another good one where, okay, we're getting back to the pass protection. That's what we all want to see. That's the fun stuff. Uh, so again, it's Boza against Werfs, and what's going to happen once this play starts is that you notice that, uh, Boza is doing kind of like an underneath move right here. So basically, he kind of just moves his body and tries to get underneath, 
uh, Wirfs to where he can't really grab him in a way that wouldn't be holding because, you know, he could just reach down and grab him, but obviously at that point it would be holding, which would be a penalty, which you would obviously take if you're Boza. So you don't want that to happen. Uh, so instead, uh, you really do have to be careful with your hands right here, and especially against a rookie, it's not a bad move to try and pull off. So how do you counteract this if you are Wirfs? Well, what you want to do is you really want to get your left arm right here, kind of put it on Boza's right side of his body, and essentially just drive him down. Drive him into the ground, at least get him behind Brady. Uh, you have to be quick though, and you have to have the strength to pull it off. However, Wirfs has both those things, and he is able to just drive Joey Boza straight into the ground. Uh, which, you know, took him out of the play. In fairness, it's possible that uh, just the grass was a little bit tough on uh, some of these, uh, on Boza in particular. It looked like he, he stumbled a couple times, uh, but I also think part of it was just because he was going up against a good tackle, uh, which is why he stumbled a couple times. Uh, like this play, uh, it's, you know, going up one-on-one -on -one against Wirfs, uh, and what you see is that he's going to try a swipe move, so he, he basically just tries to swipe away the outside arm, Wirfs' his right arm. That's what you try to do here. Uh, but what's going to end up happening is that he uses a lot of his force to try and pull off this swipe. And when he does, he kind of stumbles a little bit, loses his footing. And again, Wirfs is able to push him behind Brady. Part of that might have been the grass, admittedly. But I think part of that as well was just, uh, again, because it's taking a lot of energy to try to get rid of, get around that outside arm. And when Boza finally was able to do so, he en ended up just stumbling to the ground. So yeah, I think uh, that's really my thoughts on Tristan Wirfs. I think he's a really good tackle, and I think Tampa Bay has to be thrilled uh, with who they got in the first round because he's playing really good football. Uh, and, you know, I mean, being able to hold your own against Joey Boza, uh, that's not easy to do. And, you know, a lot of, of the top guys in the league can't do that, let alone rookies. Uh, and so I think that, you know, listen, it was talked about as a huge tackle draft with the top four. You can make an argument right now. Worfs is playing better than anyone, which is, you know, surprising because for me, I, I believe I had him as my third favorite tackle in the draft, but guy's playing great. And listen, it's only a few games right now, so, you know, who knows how far it'll go. Uh, but right now, he's played 275 snaps, which is 11th in the NFL. He has committed two penalties, but he hasn't allowed a single sack, which is pretty impressive for a rookie. Uh, it's impressive for anybody. I mean, that those are elite level numbers through four weeks. In fairness, he has allowed three pressures, and he also has allowed five quarterback hits, so that's worth mentioning. But, uh, you know, those are still very good numbers. Uh, so he, he's playing really good football right now uh, by the numbers and by the tape. Uh, we'll see if it continues. You know, big matchup tonight against Chicago. We'll see how that goes. But so far, so good for Tristan Wirfs and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. That's what I think. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. And, of course, as always, thanks for watching.